got some bait to unbox. Oh shoot, there we go, maybe that's better. That is a nice big old box of baits. So, we got a shipment it from Carl's. Now this box, I got a whole bunch of baits that me and my dad ordered along with an MTB box that should be at the bottom of this here care package. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over these, I'm gonna take all these baits out of this box show them to you guys because we're just doing a little bait unboxing we'll get to the MTB box at the end we'll do that you will see what you're gonna get in your February 2020 box and unfortunately we can't fish with these baits yet because it is still winter here in Idaho so but we'll bust through all these baits real quick and we'll get to the MTB box so yeah let's get it going all right D grab this box pretty big box um, first of all we got like 10 of these spinner baits from Carl's or just the Carl's spinner bait that's what they're called Carl's spinner bait they don't have a special name or anything got in two colors right there you can see Here we got 10 of these go ahead and grab all these out of the box these are just on top so that's what I went with first I think that's about it. Where are our crankbaits at? We got three crankbaits in here, three DT10s. Alright, that's our first color, three DT10. Another DT10 in the craw pattern. This is going to be a little bit more clear water deal. We got our chartreuse one. That early spring, the river in Idaho starts freaking pumping. And the water gets so dirty because that water's moving fast, it's up high, and, and that's right when they're starting to get in that pre spawn, starting to maybe move up a little bit. And so, got the bright color for that, and the craw, and then a little bit in towards summer, or if the fish start, or if we can fish before the water gets dirty. That's gonna be the deal right there. Next, we got the oh, freaking, the Suskushi Bug. It's made by a thousand fish, it's a little Ned Rig deal. I might pop one of these out for you guys because this is I mean I've never really fished in Ed Rig and I'm gonna really hopefully get into that more this summer but we're gonna open one of these up real quick a little bit bigger than I thought but they're not I mean they're totally good size we get this color in white this will be good for the spawn and we love them for that pre-spawn to the white but stretchy kind of like the Z-Man baits yeah good looking little bait Go ahead and throw that back in there. We'll do that up later. And next, oh, we got this craw color, two of these. Good color, like it. Next, we got some swim baits. We got a whole bunch of swim baits by Bio Spawn, the Exo Swim, four inches. Um, got a little bit of a perch color right here. We that's our main forage fish in this river. Got some green pumpkin with some pearl fish on the bottom and then my dad's favorite color in the swim bait this is probably one of his favorite baits is this right here throwing this pre-spawn it just seems to it just seems to work I mean 20 fish a day on cold cold weather we're fishing warm inlets at 55 degree water drain just water coming in and these just get it done and you can literally catch a, he used one swim bait all day long 20 fish on one swim bait those are awesome lure. Next thing by Biospawn, we got an XO ribbon. These are a big old curly tail. How long are they? Seven inch. Seven inch. I uh, got it in a green pumpkin. Um, me and my buddy, we were fishing just a, a couple weekends ago, and we're seeing this. It's really clear water right now because the algae's not blooming or anything like that, and the water's low, and we're finding these big boulders off about probably 10 feet deep water off the shoreline off these docks and these rocks that we usually fish and we're going usually we're floating right over the boulders so we're going to start to move off and I think midsummer pulling one of these or right after post spawn pulling one of these off 
that short into those boulders with Texas Rig. It's gonna be deadly. Next, we got the Rage Tails. Okay, by Strike King. Strike King. Now, I'm gonna open these up because I saw these and they're white color too for the spawn. I saw these on Carl's Bait and Tackle and I was like, I gotta get some of these because they don't have, they're not as big as profile as a a craw. I don't think I have one on my table. But a, like a rage tail or a rage craw. And they're not quite as much as a grub, but they're kind of in that perfect middle. I mean, you could, let's see, you could shaky head this. You could maybe even drop shot it, but I'm probably just going to be Texas Drake flipping up to rocks, boulders, and trees. We'll see with this boy. And then this, probably shaky head for the pre spawn. I when mean, those things just kicking up like that. Just a perfect little bait, I think. Perfect amount of action. The, and the smallmouth, they like that. That slender body, like they do the grubs. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the deal. I got it in two colors. Let's go ahead and throw this one back. There's another spinner bait hiding down there. Here's the other color. It's a summer craw. It's got green pumpkin on one side and kind of a chartreuse on the other side. It's gonna be the deal. And the last deal in the box. Let's go bye bye. Probably what you guys are watching this video for right here. The old mystery tackle box for the February 2020. Looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. And now I'm really looking for smallmouth baits. A lot of times these baits will get like a big old, let's say, a, I don't even know, like a big top water. And I do throw top waters, but some, I mean, we've got the duck in here before, and I've caught some three pounders on smallmouth on that, but. I mean, some baits, some big old swim baits, we don't throw as much for the smallmouth. There's some largemouth deals and some stuff that just won't come around for the smallmouth. So I'm really looking for smallmouth stuff, which looks pretty good. Here's the dibble. We'll go ahead and maybe give you a sneak peek on that. Um, what's inside? There we go. Oh, maybe go over that here in a second. Ooh! There's this month's sticker. It's a bomb going off, I think. Yeah, it looks like a bomb going off to me. I don't know. Live shotting. Large fry pattern. Those are kind of cool. It's a drop shot bait. You guys can see those. Looks like you rig your line right there and then you tie your drop shot hook down as it shows on the back right there. Drop, sh drop shot hook down to there. It's kind of a weird color, but I don't know. We'll have to give them a go. I'm going to keep all the baits in this box so we can do a slam with them, maybe. I don't know if it's going to be the end of this month month or March, but we got some Big Bites baits, some drop shot lures right there. Looks pretty good. I like the color of them, that blue. Seems to go pretty good. And a little bit, I don't like how long the body is for the drop shot, but that might be good. And then... Saving the best for last, but we got these Carl's amazing baits. These are little beaver style bait. Looks pretty good. Good size. I really like these beavers over other beavers because I like the action on the tails. You can see these ones have some kickers on them, which most beavers will just come out and they won't have that little slot right in there. So by having this, it might give it a little bit more kick and just those little deals out there flailing. I like it. And they got cuts in there. Good little bait. Good, awesome color. Green pumpkin. By far the best color for smallmouth in my opinion. By far. And the white. The white for the pre-spawn. You can't be that much. But green pumpkin. Just amazing color. And then. Let's save that one. We got some drop shot. Or weight. Drop shot weights. Um, there are three 16 ounce. And there's four packs. They're just by Carl's. Um, yeah. We'll definitely throw those in the tackle box. And then a Guggenbait jerkbait. Looks pretty good. It's a blue color. It's got a whole bunch of rattles in there. Kind of a clearish blue with some really weird spark sparkly kind of shimmeries on that. Looks good. Looks good. Let's see how deep it dives. Four six feet. It's four inch four inches four one third inches and it's a uh, half ounce. Good looking little bait. We'll maybe pop this out of the package. A 
good looking little bait. I've really been looking for jerk baits with a little bit more bill on them. Now that I've seen those boulders that I was talking to you about with the those. All right, so as I was talking before with these exo ribbons, pulling them off into that deep boulder area. Um, I'm thinking it might be the deal, and so I was really lurking, looking for that deeper diving dirk bait, and hey, got it in this once MTB. I like the size, I like the three treble hooks. That's gonna be a deal because sometimes these smallies just don't really know if they want to buy it, but the extra treble hook might be a good thing. And I've heard a lot of good about these Guggen baits, so we'll give this a go. The back is kind of weird, I don't know if that's normal on jerk baits, but the back just is like completely fat. I don't, I don't think it'll be nothing wrong, but just to make sure the eye looks real cool in these baits, it has got the Guggen symbol. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, a little deeper diving jerk bait should be the deal. The rattles in it, just enough to entice a fish in that early season, which which when these baits should be used. So, yeah. All right, everyone. This is my 2020 February MTB unboxing, along with some other tackle and stuff like that. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. There'll be more of these coming up in the future, and fishing season is right around the corner. Hook set season, um, yeah, I'm excited. We got about the end of February, maybe, as soon as the river comes up, but it has been kind of warm, so the river might be popping up, but as soon as that river comes up, those fish are going to move right into that 50 D. We have drain ditches that move, got flow into the river, and they're 50 degree water, and they're going to move right up into those, because the water will go literally from, like, 36 degrees everywhere else, for example, in the river, but you get up into those things, and there'll be 50 degree water, so they'll start moving up those, and then in a couple months, be ready to spawn. And and I think that with this baits that we got in this box, that they're they're gonna be good for that little preseason, which is expected. I mean, it's a February box, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. And make sure you guys subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.